So it is the day after and uh, I took no time to get sorted back out. So I have a truck and trailer. Kind of just pulled that in last night because I got home at 10. There was an hour of traffic that I got stuck in. But uh, back that in after work. Got the, tra the trailer there. Subaru's back in the garage. So as you can see, I wasted uh, <laughs> no time, but I also tore the car apart. Um, so I was chasing two gremlins. Uh, this weekend. One was the, uh, the overheating, which the weekend was hot and humid because there was uh, there was some rain on Friday and then again on Saturday night. So luckily while we were actually out on the track doing track things, the weather held out, which was fantastic because the weather report leading up to the event was showing all rain throughout the weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So luckily all the rain stopped essentially on Friday. And then Saturday, it was kind of a little bit damp uh, in the first session, but with everything going on on the track, it uh, quickly dried up. And then uh, we had a little bit of a sprinkling on, uh, on Saturday night around 6 o'clock till about, oh, I'm going to say 8. And then Sunday morning, what do you know, completely dry again. So we just went back out on a little bit of a damp track. And then as, uh, as the groups of drivers and racers went out, the track dried up easily so uh, wasted no time getting the car pulled apart and uh, just the two gremlins that I'm chasing and I'm still chasing well cool I fixed I think I hope um, I got a I got another little solution that I'm thinking about but right here the boost clamp held on for the final session but the uh, the cooling system itself was getting uh, a little bit high in temperature. Um, I won't mention it because I don't want a bunch of people calling me a fool for continuing to go up, but let's just say it was over 230, which is usual, but uh, it got a little bit high for my comfort level. But as you can see there, uh, this is the new clamp. Uh, I do have the other T-bolt, but I th think a mixture of the other T-bolt possibly being um, worn out as well as this boot uh or not boot but the silicone coupler i think it's just been stretched and whatnot over the last couple years um let me just say i've had this set up on the car since 2018 and i've had this intercooler or the yeah the intercooler kit uh rotated turbo kit from e, uh, ets on here since gosh i want to say it's like 2015 or 2016 uh but uh, 2015 I think is more accurate um, so it's been a long while and nothing has changed on it so I think that coupler is just finally too stretched out from handling all the boost that it's been handling it held up great all this time so I can't really complain about this one gremlin the other gremlin I was having over the weekend I'm not sure what was happening I think I know what was happening I think it was just improperly uh, burped in the cooling system so every time I came out off track, it was a little bit hot, spicy, let it cool down, took off the radiator cap, radiator was low on water, the coolant reservoir was low on water, blah, 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 all that stuff. I was kind of rushing um, and guessing and checking when I was doing the, uh, the water refills and getting the system charged back up and whatnot. So to solve that problem, I went out and bought this kit, good old Harbor Freight. Um, so I used this to bleed or burp both the, the Subaru and the Honda because it fit both. So I think I got a majority of it done and I think I'm good there. The problem that I believe I am having now is uh, it's been so long since I played with anything on this car. I don't even remember what temperature thermostat I have. I don't remember whether it's OEM or not. And I have a feeling it is, which for track conditions, not, not good because the OEM uh, thermostat, after doing some research to get my brain back on it, starts to open at 194 degrees, which is absolutely ridiculous. Um, the one that I want to get, which is like triple the price as well, unfortunately, that one, uh, it starts to open at 158 degrees, which is a lot better. And it also gets the water flowing, obviously, through the uh, block and would make getting the cooling system flushed out a whole lot easier, getting all the air out of it. And then it's fully open at the time that the OEM thermostat would start to open. So we got, there's a lot more, there's like 40 degrees more flow uh, for the uh, other thermostat, which I think I'm going to get. But that's all of that. Um, so 
over the weekend uh it was fantastic it was the it was the most attention i've gotten uh while being out on the track and i am thankful that each and every one of you that stopped by to uh talk to me and just get to know the car and let me know how uh how it was driving f or how, how you guys were experiencing and uh i got quite a few people that came up and asked for a ride along which has been my goal like the entire time that I've been doing this. Uh, now I'm trying to go for the competition license, obviously. Um, but ride-alongs are great as well, just because it gives people another perspective of uh, of what it's like to be in a car. Street driving is cool, and you know, going as fast as you can in a straight line on a, on a uh, on a road is cool. Hitting the back roads is cool, but there is nothing quite like. And I might be biased on this, but there is nothing quite like going around a corner while your tires are f screaming at you because you're hitting their limits and just you know snapping gears and going crazy and going as fast as you can on the straights and then slamming like i do so uh on the um on the back straight and the front straight back straight i'm hitting about 150 ish and i'm slowing all the way down to about 50 and for the uh, front straight going into turn one i'm hitting up about 140 and slowing down all the way to 45 so it is quite crazy uh how much speed is lost in such a short distance of time and then picking it all back up so um if you're ever around and you want to want a uh ride along do not hesitate all i'm all for it i enjoy doing it um it's this is the first time i've ever had to actually or i've ever actually gotten asked for them and it was it was amazing. Also seeing everybody's reactions. Some some people are calm, others get super excited. So it was pretty awesome. And then I also got to uh, get passed by a super trofeo while I had someone in the car, which is pretty awesome. Um, but yeah, overall, everybody that came by, um, Ryan, who sent me some uh, video of the car out on the track, I appreciate you. And uh, yeah, overall, great weekend. I think I pushed the car pretty darn well um, the last I looked because I don't really go for lap times uh, for me right now I'm more focused on getting point buys rather than giving point buys so at least I know I'm faster than the other drivers on the on the track um, I was playing like back and forth with uh, a Miata funny like crazy enough and then uh, there's also a Mustang out there that was hard charging as well but um, no it was quite the experience i think i'm getting faster i think the fastest time i saw like i or like i was about to say was a uh, 2107 so i feel like that's pretty good i don't know we'll see but uh yeah i'm just gonna hang out here in uh in the de3 class for a little bit longer see if i can progress a couple on a couple of tracks with uh scca and some other organizations up to their advanced level um, I just feel like getting to the to the point where you can actually take passengers on the track is pretty high and then uh, work towards my competition license so I can actually go out there and do what I, do what I've actually wanted to do while also retaining the ability to take passengers out but uh, then you know going out competitively and actually racing and not just getting point buys and giving point buys so yeah that's all I'm gonna post some video of uh, the on-track experience and uh, Hope you all enjoy with the added tidbits that uh, go along with the video because I finally have the devices and all that stuff to get the route on there and get the speedometer and all the other things that uh, GPS telemetry allows me to get. So until next time, y'all, stay driven.